I can't tell you how many times I'll get a phone call from somebody who says, I want to rent a trailer. And then after talking to them, what they really want is a ground level container. So I'm here in our Oxford facility and I have a storage container and a trailer next to each other. And I figured it would be helpful for you if I went through and discuss the differences and benefits of each unit. So here's a trailer. This is the storage trailer. It's 52 inches off the ground. This is a great option if you're going to need to move the, tra move the, the trailer on site. So if you know that, uh, that at some point after you load it up, you may have to move it around a little bit on the site, this is really your only option. Because the container over here, it can't be moved once you load it. Once you load it, that's it. This is a 40-foot container. It's outfitted, as you can see, with some shelves and some pipe rack options. These are great accessories that are very popular. However, they're not available with the trailer. So keep that in mind. Uh, the trailer comes in 53, 48, 45, 40, 32, and 28 in lengths. The containers only come in 10, 20, and 40 foot lengths. So if you need something a little longer, the trailer is, is your option. If you've got a loading dock and you want to back it up to a loading dock, this is your piece of equipment. You cannot back up a container to a loading dock. And finally, the trailer is a little bit taller and a little bit wider. It's 102 inches wide, 96 inches high. The container is 7 feet 10 inches high, 7 feet 8 inches wide. That may make a difference uh, if you're loading it uh, with certain items that are a little taller. Uh, one more aspect too is uh, some people like to take advantage of the trailer because there is a, a space underneath the trailer if you want to put stuff uh, just to keep it away from some of the elements. So that is a, is a benefit as well. So I hope that answers some of your questions uh, about which one is best for you.